Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you today thanking you for putting this wonderful woman in my life. I thank you for putting Walker in my life. I come to you today and ask that you would bless our marriage and bless our life together. You've already blessed us so much with the life that we've made. You've given us a house, a home, love, and you've given me a child that I never thought that I would have. And I just ask that you be with us today and you be with us always and you bless our marriage and our future and our future children. And these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. I open my eyes now. <laughs> position with someone that I could actually love enough that I would marry. I'm so excited. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you and Walker. And I know it's just going to be a wonderful day. I can't wait to see how beautiful you are. I can't wait to see you walk down that aisle. I love you. So when I sat down to do my vows, I quickly found out that this was going to be the hardest part of the wedding planning there was. There's just so much I could say and stand here and keep y'all for hours talking about. You are the most amazing woman and I can't believe that I, I'm standing here with you today. If you had asked anyone four years ago that knew me, they would have told you, <laughs> they would have told you I was looking for an old woman with six million dollars in the bank and a foot and a toe in the grave. <laughs> but then you came along and you changed my life. You make me a better man than I ever deserved to be. You're beautiful, smart, and funny, and you make my days something new. No one can make me laugh like you do or as angry as you do. But I'm so blessed to be standing here with you. But I'm more blessed that I get to spend the rest of my life with you. And that I also get to be the father to Walker, who is the coolest kid that I've ever met in my life. He lights up every day. He makes it always a little bit funner. <laughs> Even when I want to clothesline him into next week. <laughs> I promise that I will always love you through the good times and the bad. I vow that I will be the best husband and father to Walker and our children that I can be. I love you forever and I always will. The day I met you, I knew I was going to marry you. I'm serious. I have a witness. Ask Ashley. On a serious note, I have never guessed I was going to be right. You're the most loving, supportive, and understanding man that I have ever met. You lift me up on my bad days and laugh, laugh with me on my good days. You always push me to do better than I can and come for me when it all gets to be too much. You not only chose to support me, you also chose to support my little boy. We have been so lucky that someone like you has chose to be the one that finished the little piece of our family. Walker's so blessed to have you, and I'm so blessed I get to be your wife. So as your wife, these are the promises I'm going to make to you. I promise to always support your hopes and dreams. I promise to always have your back and choose to have you above all others and put our, the family that we've made and chosen above all else. I promise to love you not until we're old and gray, but until we're old and you're bald. But that's not too far away. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I promise to always be your best friend, your number one fan, and your partner in life. We'll travel, travel our life and our walk with God together hand in hand for the rest of our lives. <laughs>
making her pet grace before she ran out. <laughs> it's reminding her how special she is every day. I know she is finally found a perfect match. There isn't anyone else in the world that would want to know and see you over during your life. But may you always challenge each other to be the best versions of yourselves. And most importantly, always remember to honor and love and mother through it all. Congratulations, stay there. authority committed to me so as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and according to the laws of the state of Georgia I now declare to you to be husband and wife in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit what God has joined together let no man put in front of you Let us all stand. 